All right, so I'm going to go through the Apple Service uh, Toolkit version 2 that's off the web. This is my iPod on the right-hand side. I'm going to pop in the serial number. And then I'm going to show you how uh, the web version does diagnostics on your iOS device uh, without even being on the Apple Store. Uh, only Apple certified individuals can have access to this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run a diagnostics here. Um, here we go. And then I'm going to put in diagnostics. Uh, and then that's what I want to run it at. But you can run it at other different types of diagnostics too, not just the overview. But I'm having battery problems on this, so I just wanted to see. And last ran, I ran it. Uh, it did show that the battery was, uh, there was a backup history service issue. So I restored the device. Now these are my diagnostics. Here's the error message that I was getting earlier. Services backup history. So that was testing complete. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do, do another diagnostic. I already restored the device, so it should not show any errors at all. Hopefully it does. But uh, look, I can do mobile resource. I can do the backlit, camera, image, quality, pixels, multi-touch. You can do all these tests. There's even more that you can do. So right now it's going to ask me to connect the device to a Wi-Fi connection so I can run the AST. So I'm going to look for the privacy, but since this is an older iOS, uh, privacy is not in general. Uh, this is a 935, so I'm going to have to go to privacy, then scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, there it is, diagnostics and usage. And wait for the window to open. There we go. So now I start the diagnostic with Apple support. And then now it's going to communicate back after I hit continue and then agree. Uh, you're going to see the running diagnostics. It's going to start moving. There you go. So the quick test that proves a health check of hardware and software. So it's running the mobile inspector on the iOS device. Uh, in a moment, it'll pop up in the screen here, as you can see. Now it's doing a Bluetooth scan. So it's going to go through anything hardware inside the actual device. Uh, it's going to do anything like the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, uh, the backup, and so forth. You'll see in just a moment how that will appear. There it is. Now it's completed. Said so there were no issues found on the device. Well, because I just restored the device just a moment ago. But I wanted to check anyways. So now, as you can see, there's the Bluetooth, there's the about a device, so you can do that. Now, if I scroll down here, there's 32 gigs. As soon as the phone gets back or the iOS Pi Pi gets back, it will show you the size too. That's the serial number that's matching to the iOS device. That's the iPod version of type that is in there. Um, now, this is the Bluetooth. It shows its pass. The camera's pass. The sensor's pass. The services has passed, uh, software has passed, and what else? Uh, waiting for the Wi-Fi. Where's the Wi-Fi? There it is. So the Wi-Fi shows also it's passed. So here's the information I can show you. So let me close out of this diagnostic on the iOS device. Open up, and then let me go back to the general uh, under about, and so I can show you the validation of the serial number matching up. Um, so as soon as this loads up, it's not the device, it's the computer. So there's the serial number right there. And if you match that serial number on the top right corner, uh, left corner of uh, AST, and there it is, it matches it up. So that's pretty much it. That's done for the process there. It adds up to the today.